Welcome into the channel everyone. Today we're going to be talking about open root stick welding. 6010s, 7018s. Here in the States we do a lot of 6010 open root stuff and over across the pond and elsewhere we see a lot of 7018 open roots. Which one is best? Which one is the way to go with? We're going to find out here on today's episode. Let's just dive into which machine we're going to be using today. It's the Esau Renegade Volt. This is a solid TIG stick unit. It does live lift and stick welding. It's a 200 amp machine, so it does have a lot of beans and getting into the features and functions of stuff. When we go into the process mode and we go to our electrodes, it's the biggest thing that we need to focus on is making sure that we're running brutale and basic for the 7018 and of course the cellulose for our 6010 rods. We've got our arc force and our heart stud are about five and five. I'm just going to keep it like that for the whole day. And the other thing we're going to try out is running this bolt on the batteries itself. I've had this machine for about a year now uh, and the batteries have been used not only for this welding machine but for my other power tools like my drill, my impact, and grinder. I haven't tested it to see how long it's going to last until it dies, so I thought why not today? Even if it does die, the batteries run out. I got some battery chargers to stick them on and of course we can just stick it right onto the wall and keep going. We don't have to necessarily run it off the batteries. So we're going to start at 80 amp cellulose 6010 for our open root 2G weld. You can whip a 6010, you can drag it, you can do all different types of ways to put in an open root, but I find it to be a little bit more repeatable or at least easier to see your keyhole and what you're doing. You can fill gaps really easily with this rod with the right techniques. You'll notice right off the bat that sound, that is that DC negative in that rod. I'm gonna treat this a lot like I did that 6010. I'm gonna be shoving that electrode in there. I wanna see a keyhole more or less straight in angle. Try to see as much light going through the plate than on my side of the plate. I'm just kind of focused on my angle. It's hard to see a keyhole. I wanna see more of that action go through. I think it's going through okay. I'm gonna peel her on the backside here. Oh, hey, that looks all right. 